I'm Marna, and as you can see, I have a few things going on right now. Two lists I'm working from, dolls waiting their turn, including this little, this poor little girl. She's waiting for her turn. And uh, I've got the iron out, and I want to show you where I am. I made this pattern uh, myself, and I'll show you what I did. This is my Blythe notebook. I have showed it before. I highly recommend, especially if you're making your own patterns. Uh, I have a notebook for many types of dolls. Um, they each have their own notebook. This is my mini Blythe patterns that I put in a little Ziploc and keep them together because they're so tiny. But this is my bonnet pattern and what I did is I took a dessert plate and I drew two circles around the dessert plate and then I just kind of eyeballed how big I thought I would need it. I do that all the time which makes it hard to explain how I make my patterns but here's what I have. I like to make my bonnets reversible and so I sew a complete liner or other side into this rather than tucking the edges. It also makes for a firmer hat. Now, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. On this particular sexy pilgrim bonnet, uh, one of her sexy things is having a shorter brim than I have done in the past. It will also give this a little stiffness. Now, what I need to do this minute is the step where I take my chopstick, thank you to the Chinese restaurants that we leave big tips at, and I think I'm going to iron on this side. I have no idea how this uh, lace will iron. What I do is I take my stick and I lay my fabric out, and I do this on the shirts, anything. When I double the fabric, I do a lot of reversible items. Okay, and then I press the edges to the seam, kind of finger pressing that as I go. And when I get this pulled all the way around evenly, then I will take my iron. Oops, that's going to be a little harder because the lace doesn't have the buoyancy or the thickness or the thread count, I guess would be the best way to describe it, as the other fabric. But what I'll do is little by little by little, I'll iron this down and then I will poke it some more with my gently but firmly push this and especially gently but firmly with lace. But see, I'm going to, it's going to take me a minute. And then after I do that, I'll show you how I gather. Okay, so then I took a seam across the bottom of the large side, which will be the crown and back of the head. And I hate this lace. I really hate this lace. But we're going to go on and use it. Look, it messed up there, but I got to go on. So what I did is this is where we're going to gather at the uh, brim of the head. So what I did is I turned this fabric under and ironed it so it would lay flat as I brought this in, rolling as it is. And what I'm I kind of put that in the middle. And then I'm going to go to this side and pin that. Scoot that over to the very end and pin it. Oh, this elastic. I love this lace. It is stretch lace, it is wonderful, but probably not for this project. But we're going on. Okay, then I'm pinching this kind of in the middle of these two pins. And I'm going to try to center-ish that. Notice I said ish, because if you're going for perfection, you have more time than I do, and there's nothing wrong with that. Kudos to you. I just don't have it right now. So I'm going to try to manipulate that and then fold that lace down and pin it there. 
And then I'm gonna do the same. I gotta keep that lace going. Then I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna take it down to the middle and pin it there, and then that's gonna be my gathers. I will divide those gathers. And then I will do the same thing over here, and then I will mirror that on the far side and put a seam in. Okay, so here is my idea of a sexy pilgrim's hat. Not only is it shorter in the front, so you can see her face, it also has the devil's fabric lace. What I'm gonna do, I need to tuck that and take a little, I missed a spot right there. I took some lace, this little lace here, and I cut off a piece about as long as I wanted it. And then when I cut between for each side, it was like this, I cut it on the diagonal. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that flat side and because this lace is so hard to sew, we are gonna put this on the outside. I did tuck that up under on some of my previous. I actually forgot, but fighting this lace, uh, I'm okay with it. And we're gonna um, stitch that down on either side. So here is my little sexy pilgrim bonnet. I just learned something. I went to tie this on and my straps are always and forever coming up on this Blythe face because the Blythe is, has that head at an angle, which I'm not crazy about, but that's how they were originally made. So I don't complain because I love the Blythe dolls. What I did was I took my hat and I tied the ribbon under her neck. Then I took it behind her neck and I looped it there once, brought it back around, and then tied it. So there is my reminder to uh, work on your dolls and get them ready for the Sexy Pilgrim uh, videos coming up November 16th. Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue Channel. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.